The National Elk Refuge just outside of Jackson didn't always have this wide open look. Back in the day, a hundred years or so, this wide expanse was chock full of willows that grew around in a long flat creek which meanders through the refuge. The Wyoming Game and Fish, along with the National Elk Refuge, is conducting an experiment to see if fencing off certain portions of Flat Creek can reestablish willow growth and in the process stabilize and improve aquatic habitat. This would benefit wildlife from beaver to birds and, of course, fish. Jackson Aquatic Habitat biologist Anna Senecal says the experiment is to show the potential of Flat Creek. Once we reduce the animal pressure, release that riparian vegetation, show what the creek can look like. I expect the creek will narrow and deepen. I expect there to be more overhead cover for fish. To some extent, I expect the invertebrate community to change. I anticipate that there'll be changes in the bird community too. So lots of other wildlife species will use that woody shrub component of the riparian area. The two-acre restoration fence is built from old pipe donated by an oil and gas company. The refuge's management plan would like to see as much as a thousand acres of riparian habitat be restored. Perhaps even more important, this experiment may serve as a test for other riparian habitats. In order to maintain our stream banks, to maintain our pasture lands, our water diversions, and our aquatic habitats, we're going to have to consider uh, alternative solutions such as fencing. And so I think this type of fencing has real great potential to suit our needs. Fencing entire riparian corridors not only would be highly expensive but probably impractical. But reestablishing willows in creeks and streams in localized areas may be key to unlocking stream and riparian habitat values that are important for multiple wildlife species. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.